Hey guys, uh, as you've seen in my last video, I got a, uh, uh, well, IPL sent me some of their skins, uh, right there for the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch second generation, and, uh, so I'm gonna show you kind of a review of them, and, uh, how to uh, install them or put them on your, uh, device. So, first you're gonna want to install the software that comes with it, after you've installed it. Open it up and uh, open up your pack of this uh, the skins. Just get those ready, uh, and you're gonna want to click New, File, New, and uh, click the device you have. And I have iTouch, so I click iTouch, and uh, you're gonna want to import a background from here. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but um, there's backgrounds pictures and clip art and actions uh, you're going to want to import a background or a picture which I've already imported so uh, that's where you go and you just make sure that you put uh, the label incorrectly um, get one of these out so I'm show you. as you can see it says right here uh, feed this direction so you're going to want to Take it with the eye appeal on top, and you want to feed it into your printer. Just like that. Just like put it in there like that. Uh, you can slide these tabs here to, uh, this, it all depends on your printer. So just make the printer um, fit to it. And then you're going to go on your computer. And just click File Print, and after it prints, voila! Uh, as you might see, there it is. So, um, let me sit it down here and get you all at it. Uh, you m might be able to see that my printer sucks, um, <laughs> but that's okay. As you can see, it's really glossy. Um, so let me get in there. Uh, you see those bubbles? That's the only thing that I see that's um, something about it. Um, but it, I mean, it looks alright, except for those lines, which my printer sucks. Um, but it does feel like a glossy, um, generic kind of glossy feel. Uh, it does kind of stick your fingers a little bit to it uh, if your fingers are a little sweaty. Can hear that so all right so how you do this is you're going to first of all you're going to turn over the label thing the, and you're going to fold up the tabs like this and uh, make them into like a little angle like that just do that to all of them that say fold up and like that so let's make sure you get them all up and uh, once you get them all up like this you can go ahead and peel off this side right here side A uh, yep you can see side A just make sure you peel that off And uh, don't really try not to get anything on top of the sticky part. Also, you can pull off the screen part if you want to. Let's see if I can get that off. So as you see, I've gotten that part off. Uh, if you want to, you can keep that and put it on there. Basically. It's just a little stickier, adhesive feel to it. I'll set that aside, and you can set this aside too. Now, what you can do is actually take out that little part right there. If you like, you can take out the volume, I mean the home button button, and place that aside from now. And uh, now comes the, the important part. 
Uh, you can also take off the little light sensor too. But now, make sure your screen is uh, clean or whatever. And you're just going to place it on it as good as you can. Let me see if I can get it a little better. So just put it on there as good as you can like that. And then after you put on the B, uh, after you put it on there, you can remove this part right here, the part B. Just go ahead and remove that. Go ahead and remove part B. Put that away. Uh, as you can see there. And uh, now, all you have to do is just peel off the outer parts right there. Like that. And, um, and then just get rid of part C. like so and then remove the outer part you see that like that and then just throw away the extra and uh, as you can see I've gotten it on there like that um, and uh, they say to um, just like stick it on a surface like this and um, Push it on it like that. Uh, make sure you can pop out the volume slot, and then just use the surface to apply it, just like that. And just smooth that on there. And for the last part do the same exact thing so now that you've got it on there like so you can just push down on it and smooth out the air bubbles and so and there you go basically making your entirely own case um, is a lot cheaper than actually going out and buying one uh, you don't I mean this might not protect it as well as other cases but this is probably one of the most um, way best ways to pretty much like customize your own case uh, pretty much a cheap way and you can make five of them for twenty dollars which is not bad at all so um, that's pretty much it guys if you like this review slash uh, how to instructional video thing uh, please comment rate and subscribe and uh, sorry it took so long but go check out iAppeal.com and buy their products because they are pretty much awesome and uh, thanks for watching guys check you later